three uniform sphere each having a mass m and radius a are kept in such a way that each touches the other two find the magnitude of gravitational force on any of this sphere due to the other two all right now let's say i do have three spheres like this so that each one of them touches one another fine and uh, each is having a radius a so the distance between their centers will be 2a and this will be an equilateral triangle that is o a b so o a b will be an equilateral triangle now what we have to do is we have to calculate the force on each of the sphere let's say i'll calculate the force on sphere 1 due to 2 and 3 so of course it will be a force of attraction and the direction will be like this that i'll give the force on the center so the force on 1 due to 2 will be in this direction and force on 1 due to 3 will be in this direction so the magnitude of 1 due to 2 will be given by g into m into m by 2a square It is g m square by 4 a square. Any direction of force on one due to three will be of the same magnitude g m into m by 2 a whole square. That is g m square by 4 a square. All right. Now this is the forces, and I do have to calculate the net force on one. Fine. Now since it is an equilateral triangle, this angle will be 60 degree. Now what I'll do is I'll draw a perpendicular line like this. and a line like this and i'll resolve the components that is force f12 and f13 along this two axes all right so what i'll get is in this direction this angle is 30 this angle is 30 so i can write f12 cos of 30 in downward direction and also f13 cos of 30 in downward direction f12 sin of 30 in this direction and f1 3 sin of 30 in this direction now what we notice is that f12 magnitude is equal to f13 all right then clearly the magnitude of f12 cos of 30 will also be equal to i'm sorry yeah right and f13 cos of 30 and also the mod of f12 sin of 30 will be equal to the mod of f13 sin of 30 now clearly that f12 sin 30 and f13 sin 30 are equal in magnitude but are opposite in directions so they are get cancelled so the net force acting on 1 due to 2 and 3 will be given by f12 cos of 30 plus f13 cos of 30 which comes out to be gm square by 4a square cos 30 is root 3 by 2 Plus g m square by 4 a square, cos 30 is again root 3 by 2, which comes out to be g m square root 3 by 4 a square. That is the answer.